okay children so we were doing the exercise from the lesson tubby the fat cat okay so next we have to begin with the grammar corner here this page 50 page 34 okay so exercise g we are going to do here you have to replace the underlined words with words from the box rewrite the sentences so the words given in the box are they she it he them so what are these words called these are called pronouns you know what a pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun for example if we are using a name okay I'll tell raju is a good boy raju likes to study raju lives near the near the school so in these sentences we are repeating the name raju several times so instead of repeating raju is a noun so instead of repeating it several times we use the word he so he is a pronoun same way if we are representing a group of people we call them they if it is a girl or a woman we call it she and it will always use it to represent animals or things okay so here first one andy was a little boy andy loved his grandpa so the word andy name of the boy it's a noun it is being repeated in the second sentence also andy was a little boy andy loved his grandpa so instead of repeating it a second time we can use the word he he loved his grandpa so above andy you can write he okay now second one mother asked andy to sleep on time mother wanted him to rise early so mother is repeated in the second sentence also so mother we call it she okay so mother asked andy to sleep on time instead of repeating mother again we use the pronoun she she wanted him to rise early so here cut off mother and write she on top third one andy's grandparents lived in a village and these grandparents had a pet cat so here andy's grandparents is being repeated instead of that it is a plural so we use they instead of andy's grandparents if andy's grandpa is given so if it is andy's grandpa we can write he because here it is and his grandparents so there are two grandma and grandpa so we use the pronoun they so cut off and his grandparents in the second sentence and write they on top third one fourth one the milk is in the glass the milk is hot so the milk is repeated again so instead of repeating we use the pronoun it it is hot fifth one there are flowers in the park please don't pluck the flowers so here flowers are repeated again so in the second sentence instead of flowers the pronoun them is used okay 
now we can move on to the next fill in the blanks with and or but here first one is karan opened the cage and let the bird fly away here you have to use and or but so in the first sentence karan opened the cage and let the bird fly away second one i like to play mini games dash i like football the best even though i like to play mini games the my favorite game is football so i like to play mini games but i like football the best the third one the cat is sleeping on a red dash white mat red and white red but white we won't tell red and white mat fourth one i don't like to draw but i like to color i don't like to draw pakshe adana but and i like to color now i can fly a kite but rohan can't pakshe rohan kariyilla i can fly a kite but rohan can't sixth one karan dash varun walk to school together karanum nyanum karan and i karan and varun walk to school together now seventh one it is raining dash it isn't cold but still it is not cold it is raining but it isn't cold now next one the apple is red and shiny red one nalla thalangu cheyina appo red and shiny okay now exercise i fill in the blanks with the correct words my name is ali dash i am your new classmate and i am your new classmate i like comics but i don't like movies pakshe enakku movies ishta illa the children could not play outside because it was raining endu anda the reason is because it was raining i like idlis idlis and doshas and i just had some fruit so i am not hungry because i had some fruits just now i am not hungry so adu konde the reason is since i had some fruits i am not hungry now next page here in the listen and speak your teacher will read out some clues listen to them carefully circle and number the these words okay so no need to circle you just number it so i'm going to read just listen carefully i'm going to read the first sentence it is not there in your text you just listen to me a number that rhymes with fine rhyming words you know words having the same sound fine pavda what are the words given unselfish joke august chair camel nine brave mother pa the word that rhyme with fine is nine adu undana avada one nittadu okay so next is my father's wife is called what yes it is mother and achanda bhaiyen endha pariya amma appa for mother put as two then we listen to it and laugh we listen to it and laugh endha irikum it can be a joke so on top of joke put number 3 next one an animal of the desert which animal is that 
known as the ship of the desert yeah it is the camel so above camel put nest number 4 now one who is not selfish that you can very well make out unselfish opposite of selfish is unselfish put number 5 on top of unselfish then a month of the year it is august any month so here it is given august so put 6 over there not afraid of anything who who is not afraid of anything we call him a brave person brave dhairyashali le but brave you put as number 7 next one a piece of furniture what is that it is a chair a chair na mele 8 okay now we can move to the grammar section page 54 tabi the fat cat here you have to use study pronouns as well as conjunctions so we know that pronouns are words that are used instead of a noun he she it they them all are pronouns now what are conjunctions conjunctions are words that connect or combine two sentences for example and so because but all are conjunctions words that are used to connect two sentences kooti yojipikkan vendi upayogikkunna vaakkalukka nammal conjunction nu parayam appo ram and sita ramine sidaneyum connect cheyna word aanu and but it is raining but it is very hot today appo it is raining it is hot appo aa rendu sentence ne connect cheyumbo it is raining but still it is hot today but these are conjunctions so here first exercise a you have to circle the correct words within the brackets one first one is mrs ayya is our music teacher the name of our teacher is mrs ayya dash sings very well here mrs ayya she is a lady appo endana nammal she pronoun aanu ubhayikka she sings very well dash like listening to dash appo v is our music nammude music teacher aanu appo nammalku teacher പാട്ട് കേൾക്കാൻ ഇഷ്ടമാണ് അപ്പോൾ വി ലൈക്ക് ലിസണിങ് ടു ഹർ ഹർ മീൻസ് ദ മ്യൂസിക് ടീച്ചർ വി മീൻസ് വി നമ്മൾ അപ്പോൾ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് ഷി യു ഹാവ് ടു സർക്കിൾ ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ വി ദൻ ഹർ നൗ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ മോഹിത് ഇസ് മൈ കസിൻ ഡാഷ് ഇസ് ടെൻ Uh, talking about mohit so he he is 10 years old dash play in the park nammal ellaru we we play in the park appo he um we um circle ya today is sunday dash is a holiday appo sunday sunday ku he she onnu vekkilla what we call it it is a holiday we will go to the market nammal market il pogum we we will go to the market papa will buy a bicycle for itella for me we have to circle it we lastly me now fourth one this is my father father ambal it's a male appa he he is an engineer this is my mother mother varimba she she is a doctor they love me എന്നെ അവർ അവർ സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നു ദ ലവ് മീ അപ്പോൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഹി ദൻ ഷി ദൻ മീ ക്ലിയർ നൗ എക്സസൈസ് ബി ഫിൽ ഇൻ ദ ബ്ലാങ്ക്സ് വിത്ത് ദ കറക്റ്റ് വേർഡ്സ് ഫ്രം ദ ബ്രാക്കറ്റ്സ് മൈ ആൺട്ട് ലിവ്സ് ഇൻ എ വില്ലേജ് മൈ ആൺട്ട് ലിവ്സ് ഇൻ എ വില്ലേജ് ഇനി ആൺട്ടിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഡാഷ് കീപ്സ് ഹ ഹോം ടൈഡി ഷി 
ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സെയിം ആണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ആണ്ടിന് പകരം ഷീ വെച്ചു നൗ നെക്സ്റ്റ് അഞ്ജലി ആൻഡ് ഐ ആർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഞാനും അഞ്ജലി ഒപ്പം വി വി ലൈക്ക് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ലോങ് വാക്സ് ഇപ്പോൾ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഇസ് വി തേർഡ് വൺ can you show dash the way to the post office can you show me the way to the post office can you show me enakku kaanicharan pattu me the way to the post office fourth one the queen wears a crown dash is beautiful here the crown is being referred okay the queen wears a crown it is beautiful hmm hiella appo endha crown ne kurichu parayunnad okay so it is beautiful now meena put on her skates what is skate a shoe with wheels appo here you can see the picture meena is skating appo meena put on her skates dash went to the park she went to the park amit is studying dash has a test tomorrow pa he has a test tomorrow now seventh one the children are happy dash are having fun children it is a plural and they they are having fun a clock has a face but dash cannot smile it cannot smile here again clock is a non living thing but i have told you a pronoun it or uh is it is used for a thing or an animal okay apa you have to write the word it a clock has a face but it cannot smile okay so enough for today thank you